Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome to Prizantis Tosca API Automation Tutorial. As you all know, I've already published three lessons covering some basic concepts of Prizantis Tosca API Automation. This is our lesson four, where you will learn more about API scan results, which means I'm going to cover some of the topics related to API scan message section and what are all the functions that are available in this message section. And also we are going to see and understand the payload for any kind of API request. And also we are going to see some examples of API request and response messages by using Tricentis Tosca. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, you will receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. What is our lesson objective? Understand message section and functions available in message section of Tricentis Tosca API scan. And then we are going to look at the payload and try to understand the payload in API scan. And also, I'm going to show some examples of request and response messages by using Prizantis Tosca API scan. API results. So the central window called as a message section in Prizantis Tosca tool. It contains the general information of the message displayed in a moment. Okay, that I'm going to show you. And then this divided into five different tabs. So let me open my Tricentis Tosca. So this is my Tricentis Tosca. We created API automation courses workspace in our earlier session. So let me open the same workspace. Okay, so this is my Tricentis Tosca workspace and you need to navigate to API testing and go to API scan and click on start API scan. So I have already covered these concepts in my previous session. I would recommend you guys to go through my previous lessons so that you can understand these concepts very well. So if you observe closely, it opened my API scan and you can see here my previous API scan project has been loaded. Okay, so I was talking about the central window called as a message section. So this central window, right? This is all your central window. This central window from here to here. This is your central window. This is called message section. And it contains the general information of the message displayed in a moment. Okay, I'm going to show you. And this central window contains total five different tabs. First tab is payload. So which contains the messages, API request and responses. So if you see here, this is your payload. Okay, this contains the messages. So let's open my post. Okay, this one. So this payload contains the messages, your API request and your API response, correct? And then when we load the message first time, the payload will contain only structure of the data. So when I load the payload for the first time, it contains the structure of the data, but it does not have any values in it. So we can fill in the necessary information to send and get actual response back from server. So I can fill in these values here. This is default value. I can fill with my actual values and then I can send and receive the responses. That's what it talks about. And then method. So if you see here, this is my method. Right. 
so this method is to identify the http method used to the request in some cases if http method is get the payload message can be empty you see here this is my post method correct http method post that's why i can see the payload whereas if i go back to my get method this is my get method so in this case the message section the payload section will be empty okay and then the endpoint so there is another section called endpoint okay this is my endpoint so this defines the api based url okay and then resource if you see here this is your resource so this indicates the resource identified for this endpoint okay for this endpoint this is my resource that i have identified for any given api request and then what is my next tab the next tab is parameters tab go back to your parameters tab so this parameters tab this allows us to display an editable parameters these we will be covering in future lessons basically you can basically here edit any parameters that you want to have so in our earlier session we already used an access key that we provided here right so other than access key you can edit in n number of parameters that you want okay so regarding these parameters i'm going to cover in our next next lesson and then next tab is authentication so you can provide different types of authentication here you can use your basic authentication you can use ap uh, sorry aws authentications and then you can use oauth authentications so i'm going to cover these authentications in later chapters and then attachment tab so this is your attachment tab why do we use this attachment tab the attachment tab allows to display added attachments when for example an image could be set when trying to test the capability of an api that generates new user profiles including profile pictures so that is where you can attach your profile pictures here okay and then my next tab is header section if you see here the header section is this side right side you click on this it displays your header section so what is this header section this header section depending upon whether you, the request or response message is selected header shows either the request or the response options if you see here when i select request it shows headers of request when i select response it so it shows the response options now let us concentrate mostly on payload section with testing a functionalities of the scanned api that we can start now let me go to my payload we are gonna concentrate on this payload message now let's hide this headers so now let us concentrate on this payload so what are we trying to achieve here first we are going to verify the list of coffee shops by sending a payload message and then we are going to add a coffee shop to the list and then we are going to verify that the shop has been added correctly to the list so we performed all these activities in my previous session by using swagger tool that is provided by catalan but today we are going to perform all these api request and responses and we are going to analyze the request and responses by using tricentis tasca api scan first verify the list of coffee shops let's go back here so first this is my coffee module expand this and here this is my get coffees right i'm going to get the coffees here so as i told you because i'm using get method your payload message will be empty so now let us run this when i run this i should receive the list of coffees that is available in the system but if you see here i'm getting some 
error basically so we have to provide the access key let me go back to my Presentist Tosca cloud training website from where I can generate any new access key right so this is my new access key I'm gonna copy this access key and then I'm gonna provide the access key here now let me run this particular API request to get list of different coffees that are that are available in the system so run this now when I run this see now I can find these many different types of coffees in the system total nine types right I can see total nine so this is my ID nine okay now we need to add a coffee shop to the list now I want to add a new coffee to the list okay so let me go back to my post coffees list okay you can perform same thing for the coffee shops also but I want to perform this particular action for coffees okay let me add coffees so first add a coffee shop instead of coffee shop we are going to add coffee to the list okay I'm going to add a coffee here I'm going to say sweet mocha okay sweet mocha and then I'm going to say delicious coffee flavor okay so as I told you as soon as you load the payload it actually displays the default values now you can edit the values in each tag with your own values that you would like to send in a request and ID I don't want to change because this ID is a unique so when I send the request in the response I'm gonna get my unique ID okay and then what is your uh, so you need to switch to the request view instead of response view okay switch to the request view here what is the method my method is post method and here again under parameters you need to add your access key that we just now generated this is my access key copy this and paste it here so now let's run this now oh again i think we so oh, this is actually has been removed let me provide this as sweet coffee mocha okay i'm gonna say delicious sweet flavor okay so we provided authentication access key and then we provided the values that you would like to send in request so now run this as soon as i run i should get the response see i got the 200k response here i can see 200k response and i got a unique id 10 and i got the response with the same names that i have provided in the request 200k is success response now as we added a new coffee into the list now verify that the coffee has been added correctly to the list now let us go back here now again let's go back to your get coffee request message now instead of response view this we are in response view right i can see total nine earlier now i want to go back to my request view i have a already have provided my service key let's go to payload now and run this because i am in get method the payload message will be empty so don't get confused so now run this now i should get the total 10 coffee list and the 10th coffee should be my newly added coffee see id 10 has sweet coffee mocha and then delicious sweet flavor so that means now we have added a new coffee to your system by using Presentist Tasca API request and getting the response, right? So we explored this entire central message and what are all the different options and tabs that are available in the central message, right? And we understand about the payload message 
and we have seen how can you send an API request to get the list of coffees and how can you add a new coffee by using the method called post and then how can you verify that the newly added coffee has been successfully added to your system. So this is how you can use your API scan message section. If you have any queries, leave your queries in the comment box. So you all understand the concepts of API results where we have learned about the different functions that are available in message section and also we try to understand about the payload and we have seen some examples how can you send and receive API requests from server and we saw some examples by adding coffee to your system and then we have verified if the coffee list has been added to the system. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, you will receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. Thank you.